All right, so a lot of you had a bit of a difficult time understanding bearings. So I want to try to kind of relate bearings to um, to what we call the traditional coordinate plane, right? So this is the one we're used to. Let's go ahead and kind of just label uh, this piece. I know that uh, if you think about the unit circle or you think about how we've done coordinates and things like that, then this is going to be familiar to you. And so here we have zero degrees, and then we're going to go around this direction to write all of our angles. If we went this way, we'd get positive angles. If we go around count, or if we go clockwise, we'll get negative angles. For this discussion, I'm just going to go and use the positive angle, so we're not going to talk about negative angles. So this would be 90 degrees. This makes it 180 degrees. And then here we have 270. And if I went all the way around, then I would eventually get back to a 360 degree full rotation. <clears throat> this is what we know, this is what we love. If I were to draw an angle right here, right? So the angle that you look at would be um, from here all the way to there. Uh, if I were to ask you, hey, what is this angle? Then you would say, well, I'm not sure because I don't know how far into the second quadrant I am. It looks like it's about halfway, but not quite. And so you could say, well, it's between 90 and 180, maybe somewhere around 135. That's a halfway between. Um, but what if I told you that the angle from, say, 90 over, so we're talking like this angle right here. What if I told you that this wasn't 45 degrees, but it was just 40 degrees? then it would be really easy for you to say, oh, well, the angle would be just, I turned it 90 and then in a little bit more, I went 40 degrees more to give myself 130 degrees, which is close to what I thought it was. If I do the same thing, I'm gonna draw the same position on my bearing side, right? So there's the angle, let me draw it. So, but the downside here is, I don't start drawing, I don't, I don't draw my new angle from there because bearings don't start there. Bearings work this way. They start at zero degrees and to get positive bearings we go around like this, right? So this would be positive. We could go the other direction to get negative bearings, um, but we're not going to do that just like the other one. Here if I go one corner, right, that's going to be 90 degrees, just like in, in in the previous example, when we went from here to here, that's one quadrant. Well, from here to here, it's the same thing, right? The picture started out exactly the same. And if I, if I keep this idea going, then we end up going another quadrant, which is going to be 180, then 270, and then back eventually we get back to 360. And so here we have one quadrant, two quadrants, three quadrants. Uh, so I'm going, kind of going around, so like this one quadrant, then second, then third, then fourth. Same thing here. One, then two, then three, then four. The, different, the big difference is that there's a different starting place when you go in different directions. So, if I wanted to know what bearing I'm at right here, let me add the other parts to it that we know we have. We know that this little angle right here was 40 degrees not quite halfway, almost halfway. Then the question would be, what bearing are we? Well, if I start with zero degrees, right, so we're gonna start with our, our bearing, let's say right, right at the zero mark, then I have to turn this direction. I wanna turn all the way until I get to this mark here. And so the other end of that would look like that, right? So what is this gigantic angle? It's almost a full circle. And so, well, if I think about that, then I can say, well, this would be, right, if I went from here to here, this would be 90 degrees, and then I went another 90 degrees, and then another 90 degrees. But uh, you don't really have to add it up. Kind of already done that. Uh, when you see on the axes here, you can see here's the one, here's the 290, here's 390s. But this time, I'm going to go a little bit more. And so if I, if I knew how much this part was, I would, I would have the exact amount to add to this. Uh, but fortunately for us, we know that every quadrant's all broken up into, it's a 90 degree quadrant. So 
if we have a 40 degree angle here, then knowing this angle is simply subtracting from 90. So, I mean, that's really easy. We would know that this difference, this angle here, is going to be another 50 degree angle. So, if I've got, as you can see, 90 here, 90 here, 90 here, and then another 50, I can bring that over and say, well, I'm going to add another 50 to that. Now, that's not exactly how I would do it. It would be, well, I'm starting at 270 because I already had that marked. I'm going to add that additional 50 in there. And so then you end up getting 320 degrees. And so we could say the bearing of 320 is the same thing as an angle of 130 degrees. I hope that helped. Um, in class, we did it from bearings to degrees. I hope maybe if I went backwards and said, here's the degrees, let's go back to the bearings. You can go either direction here. It doesn't really matter. It's just that you know that if I were to take, let's see if I can add this under the top. If I can take this over and just, just lay that down on top of that, then that's kind of how they line up. I mean, that's a big jumbled mess right there. But that's what it would look like. Let's put it back over here. Okay, that's what you would you would you would get. So hope this helped. Uh, if not, bring your questions to class tomorrow.